I am Harley Beast. I am Harley Beast. I am let's reading. I am let's reading. Let's read some creepy pasta today because it's going to be fun. So, I recently purchased Metroid Prime Trilogy off of GameStop's online store. As the name implies, it's the MP Trilogy of all three games. The first two were made for the Wii Remote controls, which run very smooth. I highly recommend it. Anyway, I was playing MP2, which I actually hadn't played before now, seeing as how I sold my GameCube about a year before its release. As I was playing, making it through Agent Waste relatively quickly, moving to onto the swamp area, I went through the portals, same as normal, but occasionally coming back to the light world. The game would seemingly bug up, the frame rate dropping quite a bit. I shrugged it off as maybe a small scratch on the disc, or my Wii reading it oddly. Figured I'd, I'd take it out and check it afterwards. Not wanting to stop playing at the moment, I soon got to the Morph Ball boost. Being quite annoyed with the bugs within the light portals, growing significantly worse and more aggravating. Eventually I began hearing echoing sounds within the portals. Like men screaming. Yes, only men. And cries of animals. Maybe the inge or splinters. Getting confused on the dark world puzzles that was actually very trivial, I decided to return to the light world and explore places I could not previously go to. That's when the game got weird. I stopped into the portal same as usual, but during the transition animation something was wrong. A loud scream blared on my TV. Odd, seeing as how the volume was set to 10, the max being 60. The screen was nearly ear-piercing, a man in pain, a lot of pain, during which my screen was frozen at the transition screen. Then I finally went through the portal, but wasn't in the light world. Instead, I was in some disgusting deformed realm. A possible mixture of the light and dark worlds, except not. It's hard to explain. The environment was that of the light world, but tinted with darker. The plants were dark, either plants except twisted, blood dripping off of them, bodies of GF troops being pierced by them, along with a few space pirate bodies. I took I looked at the sky, which was blood red, not the normal grey and purple dark aether, and certainly not the sunny or cloudy sky in aether. When I scanned the bodies, it described a very gruesome death, which is typical of Metroid Prime at times, except were pages upon pages long, describing every detail of which I vaguely recall at this point. One stuck in my head, though. A space pirate, whose death read, after having its legs clawed and eventually ripped off, it was seemingly tackled, being stabbed countless times in the torso, followed by having fingers shoved into its eyes and its brain invented inevitably killing it. Its legs, as red, were laying next to the pirate's body, ripped apart and its brains oozing from its decaying eye sockets. Its corpse rotted, muscle and bone showing under its oddly realistic skin. I turned from the bodies, running across a bridge and into a dome, full of GF troops chained to the wall, which looked weird seeing as how it's not an animation in the game. So it was sort of stretched out. Along with this, there were bodies dangling from the ceiling, like you find in the beginning of the game except blood was dripping from their broken visors and eye were hanging out of one socket. All seems so real, but the graphics that are not in the game by default. I heard the beacon received message your ship sends you, then my map screen came up. A loud screech was playing while my map moved to the location. Was, was there not a question mark? but a skull crossbones, Jolly Roger, death, whatever you call it. Despite this, I went there, thinking bad would happen if I didn't. Getting there was easy. What I was supposed to do to get there was hard. I had to go through a morph ball maze. Seemed easy enough, but when I switched to morph ball, Sam was simply laid on the ground, bleeding, screaming, her head twisted and faced me. She was face first on the ground, mind you. She proceeded to remove her helmet, but I knew all there was under was what you see through the visor, or so I thought. Taking it off, I saw the horrifying face, mangled, bloodied, ripped apart as if something had been scratching at it, paralyzed in fear. I didn't move, I didn't even know I was blinking or breathing, just staring in pure fear as she seemed to whisper to me in mangled lips. But what she whispered was not in English. It was a combination of words and letters from many languages, German, French, Italian, Russian, and the list goes on. 
She then began to tug at her legs, her body bending in a way I've never seen hers, or anyone for that matter, bend in. Twitching as she bent over, maybe trying to straighten her body, she began tugging at her legs. Oddly, since again the animation was not in the game. She pulled off her left leg. Nothing happened. No blood, no mangled mess, as if the leg was pulled out on the same as if the leg was put on the same uh, was. A clean cut there with a weird texture, a green pukey color. Then it made me scan a nearby lock. Despite not playing as Samus, her body still on the ground, I hesitated to read it. Calming down a bit, but I did. Upon opening it, I heard another torture scream. The log simply read, Please die. I actually laughed a little bit, thinking it was ironic to say much, such a thing so politely. Then I was forced to scan another log. Opening it, no scream this time, the picture was a face, looking at mine in a way, but angled. Not sure how I knew what it looked like. Maybe the sensor saw me. No, it's not able to see people or anything for that matter. But the face looked just like me. Every detail of mine. Then an animation started in the log. A bunch of small metroids stuck to my head, sucking it dry, making it look like a razor. Despite how fucked up it was to watch, I again laughed, thinking it to be odd, until the text finally appeared. This time it wasn't so nice, and it was slightly longer reading, I told you nicely, you laughed at me, mocked me, you'll pay for that. After getting out of the log, I saw hundreds of bodies falling around me from the sky. All GF troopers, all without helmets, all had my head, that mangled head, sawed in the log. At this point, I completely forgot I was even playing Metroid. It felt more like Dead Space than anything. But oddly, Dead Space was like a field of blossoms compared to this. The camera was forced down to face a trooper, as if someone physically pushed me head down in game. I heard breathing behind me. In game, but I could not turn around to see who or what it was. But it, instead facing myself bleeding mangled, a text log came up reading, This will be you soon enough. Then a message came up, an options box I have never seen in the game, saying, Scared yet? Yes, no. I wanted so badly to select no, but the mistake of saying yes, and heard a laugh. The laugh of a man whose screams I had heard possibly shortly after the game returned to the menu, but instead of the barrel of Sama's gun, the title screen of the trilogy, it was the damn face again. My face. Since then I've been scared shitless to do anything about anything. I isolated myself in my room, doing schoolwork, but rarely leave. I have yet to touch the game. I loaned it to my friend. He said he had no problems. I know it wasn't a dream. My dreams are usually pretty real, but I don't know the difference between life and a dream. I still see the face in cloud formations, in my own reflection at times. This has changed my life. I have always believed in supernatural coincidences, but never experienced one as quite as horrifying as this. I even crave horror. I could go days watch horror movies or what, reading creepypastas, but this, this is too much even for me.